Welcome to The Rusted Garden. Today I'm going to talk to you about using peppermint oil in your garden. And I've been specifically, specifically using it for green beans, back there are cucumbers, and zucchini and squash. And I have found over the last four weeks for it to be really, really effective with helping mask the scents of your squash, zucchini, cucumber plants from bad bugs like squash bugs, and also for controlling spider mites and aphids. And before I get to show you how I use it in the garden, let me just show you the basic setup. I think it's best if you buy a one gallon sprayer. This was five bucks. It's nothing fancy. I think I got it at Walmart. And the reason being is because your peppermint spray can stay in the container at least a week, if not longer. It's just peppermint oil. The variety you want is mentha pie, Piperita or Piperita right here and there's different kinds but this is what you want to look for. I always like to mark off a half a gallon, one gallon because it's easier for my eyes to see and then I use peppermint oil spray put the recipe right on there. So in a one gallon container you want one half a teaspoon to one teaspoon per gallon of water and you just put in a couple of drops of soap to help disperse the oil through the water. If you're using a smaller sprayer like a 32 ounce sprayer it's one drop of peppermint oil per two ounces of water and just a little bit of soap every time you go to spray shake it vigorously and that will help disperse the oil through the water because you just want a fine spray of oil on your leaves now that being said it's on you to test spray any new sprays that you use in a garden. Like I've said, I've been using this for four weeks. I use just a little bit less than a teaspoonful per gallon, and I've not noticed any damage on my bean plants, cucumber plants, or my squash plants. The other thing is, is you want to make sure you spray in the morning, and you can see back there it's starting to get warm. You can see how that leaf has become flaccid. When it gets too hot, your leaves lose water pressure, turgidity, or turgor pressure, and if you put a spray on them, it could damage them. So spray early in the morning, spray in the evening, or spray when it's cool. And you want a test spray, and that means that you take the spray, spray a couple of leaves on the varieties of plants that you're going to do, spray the top, spray the bottom, just like you would be using it, and wait 24 to 48 hours and look for damage. If there's no damage, go ahead and use it. But you always want a test spray. So let's start with how I take care of my plants with peppermint oil spray. One thing that I started doing is spraying the undersides of my leaves with water. That has made a big difference in itself. So here is a Kentucky pole bean and this leaf pattern right there, that damage started with spider mites about four weeks ago and the leaf survived. So what I do is I come in and I spray underneath there with water. I'll show you how I do that. But I just want to show you over the last four weeks of taking care of this plant, all this new green growth is coming. It's working. It's taking care of the spider mites. The spider mites aren't sucking the life out of the leaves, damaging the plant. And just look how dark green, how much dark green there is in these leaves. It's healthy. It's doing really, really well. And it's coming into its third flowering, which you can see down here. So I'm going to get more pole beans from this. And I really believe it's from using the uh, water wash underneath and the peppermint oil spray. So about once or twice a week for the water spray, come in with your hose and just spray the underside all the way up. That's going to wash off, that's going to wash off all of the spider mites, aphids, weak bodied or soft-bodied insects, weak, weak insects, also will wash off the good insects, the stronger ones that can fly back up. So that when you go and hit it with the peppermint oil spray, you've taken care of the weak insects, you've dispersed the good insects, you're going to spray the oil down, and then the good insects will come back, take care of anything that is left, but you're not spraying them directly. So the water wash just does exactly that. It just washes the undersides of the leaves off, and then you can get to spraying. And I would do the same thing with the squash plants. Just get in there, spray underneath. And then over here on the cucumbers, you can see that there's bees and stuff. So by spraying on the underside, that will get closer because you really want to wash the undersides. That will also move the bees away. Now I've found that the peppermint oil doesn't really seem to harm bees even if you accidentally contact it. It's not a lot of oil in there. So wash the undersides of the leaves. Do this once or twice a week. I found it really, really helps with mites and with aphids. And then the oil for me, you could probably do this every 7 to 14 days. I'm doing this about every 7 days. Let me show you how I do that. 
We're going to start with my bean plant, my pole beans, and you can use this for bush beans too. I have more bush beans around here. I'm going to spray those also. And again, I had problems with the spider mites. They were damaging leaves. I started spraying water beneath them and then started using the oil spray. And it's really, really making a difference. I mean, all these new vines are coming. It's really, really nice and green. But just spray the undersides, work your way all the way up and just coat the undersides of the leaves. You don't need a whole lot. And then after you get the undersides, come back and just spray the tops. That will disperse the oil nicely across your plant. Every really minute or so, every 30 seconds, shake your container vigorously, get that oil dispersed through there. Now, when you're going through spraying your plants, also check for insects. I was looking for any signs of the mites, any signs of aphids, and I can't really find any that are worth noting. Now, this peppermint oil isn't 100% foolproof. If it was, we'd all be using it for the last century and we'd have no problems in our garden. As you're going through, look for clues. Those are squash bug eggs. They'll get removed. Actually, I'm going to leave those there. I'm going to spray them with the oil and just see if there's any damage from the oil on those. And I'll do that as an experiment. Normally, the squash bug eggs are under the undersides of the leaves. It's odd for them to be right there. As I went through this plant and washed it with water, I found one squash bug. If I wasn't doing this, I really think I would have found more. But again, get under here, spray the undersides. This takes care of the spider mites. And look at all that growth I'm having on my zucchini plant right there. Normally at this point of the year, I don't have that because I would get a lot of damage to the leaves from the different insects. So really get in, spray the stem, it's great for hopefully preventing the vine boar from getting in there, and just get that peppermint oil everywhere in there. So once you get the undersides of the leaves, come back, and again, don't do this in full sun, spray the leaves down. So that's how I would take care of my squash and zucchini. And then you can come on over here to the cucumbers or wherever your cucumbers are. Let me move this around a little bit. And when I was in here, spraying the undersides, I did find a cucumber beetle. I only found one, so I'm gonna keep an eye on that too. And you can kind of figure out how things are going by how green your leaves are. If you're getting any yellowing pattern, any of the spider mite damage, they come from the underside and chew tiny holes in your leaves and just really look around. And found my cucumber. <laughs> which sounds a little bit funny, but found the first cucumber on the plant. There are more growing on here, so in the next couple of days, I'm going to have tons of cucumbers coming in. Same thing, get underneath here, spray the bottom of the leaves. Once you do that, come back and spray the tops. Now, for the peppermint oil, I'm using it about every seven days. And what it does is it masks the scents of your vegetable plant. So when the bad bugs are looking for a host plant to you know, live out their life cycle, the peppermint oil fills the air, they can't find the pheromone, they can't find the scent, and you're reducing the number of bad insects that are coming to your garden. And I really, really feel this is effective. Let me go show you the eggplant, because I noticed on the way out some flea beetles, and I feel like the peppermint oil, from what I read, is effective for flea beetles too. Here are my eggplant growing in containers and they're doing extremely well. I move them here because every year they get devastated by flea beetles. And these leaves are in really, really good shape for my area. Nice and dark green, they do have some holes. And I notice that the flea beetles are starting to come in. And the flea beetle is just a little black speck. And if you get too close to it, it hops. There's one there. There is one right there. It just hopped away. There is one in there. And when you start seeing, there's one. So that's really the start of infestation. And normally, here's one up here. That's why you want to catch them quickly. Always inspect your plant. So I will get under here, spray it with water, spray this down. Now for flea beetles, I do put insect dust on the outer leaves. They go through that, it kills them, it's effective. But I also don't want them to show up. And I don't want to be using dust every day if I don't have to. So for the eggplant, I'm, and they just, I mean, they're hopping away instantly. I can see them. I'm going to spray the leaves with the peppermint oil about once a week. The undersides really coat everything. And that will be a treatment that I add to my eggplants. And they're doing really well, by the way. Let me just show you. Look at that. That one's ready to be picked today. 
So eggplants in containers, just as a side note, are really, really um, effective. You can do that. So I hope this gives you some idea of how to use the peppermint oil spray in your garden. I'm using it for zucchini and squash, cucumbers, pole beans, bush beans, and for my eggplant. And again, test spray anything you do. Keep notes. Let me know how it works in your garden. Let me know if you've been using it. Um, I'm really excited to see how many uses uh, there are for peppermint oil. I'm also selling this on my seed shop at www.therustedgarden.com. No matter where you buy it, make sure you buy the variety of peppermint oil from the plant that I showed you in the beginning. And you want steam distilled peppermint oil, not extracts, not teas or anything like that. You definitely want peppermint oil. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.